Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Tunisia has imposed a nationwide curfew after days of demonstrations. People have been protesting against unemployment and economic conditions. Five years ago, demonstrations across the country led to uprisings that successfully deposed President Zine El Abidine Ben Ali after two decades in power. Al-Shabaab has killed at least 20 people in the capital Mogadishu. The militant set off two car bombs and fired at restaurants on Lido Beach. The country's security ministry says an eight-hour siege followed, but the situation is now under control. Authorities say they've detained one of the attackers. The Prime Minister of Somalia took to social media to condemn the attack. Prime Minister Manuel Valls says Europe cannot take in every refugee who's fleeing war. He says granting them all asylum would destabilize European societies. Valls said that if Europe couldn't protect its borders, the very idea of it would be questioned. The International Organization for Migration says more than one million asylum seekers entered Europe last year. Officials have advised people not to have children for the next two years due to the risk of birth defects linked to the Zika virus. The same mosquitoes that carry dengue fever transmit the virus. Zika isn't usually fatal, but it's been linked to an increase in birth defects. It causes babies to be born with small heads and prevents their brains from developing. El Salvador has recorded nearly 5,400 cases of Zika since last year, but none of the women infected with the virus have given birth to babies with the defect. However, nearly 4,000 babies in Brazil have been born with the condition since October. Thanks for watching. TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.